Okay, I have uh, some of these blocks here, flat bottom holes. Uh, this set of uh, blocks here, this is actually the 8 uh, 64th of an inch, actually, this block. Starting from the first one, 1, 2, 8 64th of an inch. And here, in this case, we have different dimensions. We have a flat bottom hole of about 1.1. 1.9, 3.1, and then uh, certain uh, other blocks with uh, 1.9 millimeter uh, flat bottom hole. We also have a larger uh, block here with uh, 3.17 and uh, 1.9 millimeter flat bottom hole. We also have uh, a normal beam probe here. It's a standard 4 megahertz normal beam probe. We intend to use this uh, small uh, ultrasonic machine, K9, and then see how a DGS can be constructed and how this can be used to evaluate these flat bottom holes. The range is uh, currently calibrated to 200 millimeter in steel. We'll be using the this particular block that has uh, uh, a hole, a flat bottom hole of uh, 3.17 millimeter in size. This is the block. So I'll place the probe and as you can see this is the back wall echo and this is the flat bottom hole indication that's coming up. Okay I have this uh, indication maximized now. Uh, this signal corresponds to 3.17 millimeter in steel and uh, now to continue with this DGS evaluation, I have to provide the details in this, like the probe frequency ended as 4 megahertz and the probe diameter as 10 millimeter. And now we'll go into the flat bottom hole size. This is 3.17. And then we will enter the DGS function. This is DGS. So it's actually uh, loaded. And now we can calibrate. If there is a difference you notice then you can use the DGS calibration function and then set this correctly to read uh, exactly as that value. Right now as you can see the ERS is read as 3.14. I'll click OK here. Now I'll move to the next uh, block that has a flat bottom hole of about 2.7 millimeter. I'm on to the next uh, block here and as the signal comes up here if you place the gate on this signal it should give you that value. Right now it reads as 2.76 or 2.8 millimeter. Okay, this is dynamic. You can also increase or decrease the gain values and the curves will also move accordingly. I'm on to the third uh, block that has a, a flat bottom hole of about 2.3 millimeter. So I'm getting us 2.4 millimeter there. This is another one, the next one, which is having about uh, 1.98 uh, millimeter there. So I'm measuring this as about 2.2. If I correctly uh, scan, possibly I'll uh, get it as 2.1 or 2 millimeter. Okay. And the next one here. And this is about uh, uh, 1.5 millimeter, 1.58. I'm reading it as 1.75 millimeter there. And the next one this is uh, 1.3 it reads the actual uh, size is actually 1.19. Let me just recheck this. Correct. I'm getting it as 1.2 or 1.3. And this is the uh, much uh, smaller one, in this case, it reads as, uh, 
ஓகே பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் த்ரீ ஓ ஃபைவ் ஃபைவ் த ஆக்சுவல் டைமென்ஷன் இஸ் பாயிண்ட் செவன் திஸ் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் பிளாக் இன் தட் சீரீஸ் திஸ் ரீட்ஸ் எஸ் பாயிண்ட் த்ரீ நைன் and the actual flat bottom hold size is also 0.39 the ers value what you can see is 0.39 as you can see there ers is measured as 0.39 so it's that simple decrease this bring it back this is dynamic actually you can change the range also there let me hold this uh, with one hand let me pick up another signal also okay this is this was the first one where we we used it for calibration uh let me just uh, scroll this here you know you can change range if you want or change amplitude it would work uh you have an option to print as well for example uh, if you want to record this information it's possible there is a print option here click print and the file will be saved along with your dgs curve and if you have uh, the ers value that will also be printed thank you